Create scheduled transactions in iBank to track financial activities that occur on a repeating basis, such as a recurring bill or a bi-weekly paycheck. Scheduled transactions are based on transaction templates. Each time you enter a transaction, iBank creates a template based on that transaction, recording its type, payee, category or splits, note, and amount. There are several ways to create a scheduled transaction. Select a transaction template and click the Schedule button. Select one or more transactions in any account register and choose Transaction, Make Scheduled Transactions from Selection. Drag and drop a transaction from an account register onto the Scheduled Transactions item in the source list. This will work with all transactions except investment transactions. In each instance, the Schedule Inspector will appear. Under Post To, choose which account the transaction will be recorded in. Stop After. Check this box and enter a number to have only a fixed number of transactions posted to the account. The schedules will be deleted after the last transaction has been posted. Uncheck the box to have the schedule continue posting transactions until it is modified or deleted. Remind. Check this box if you want iBank to notify you before a schedule is due so that you can edit the transaction details and choose whether to post the transaction at that time. Enter the number of days before the due date you want iBank to notify you about an upcoming payment. iBank will remind you about the upcoming transaction when you open your document, and it will also add a reminder to the Apple Reminders app under a group named iBank. You can turn this feature on or off via the checkbox at the top right of the scheduled transactions list. If you don't want iBank to remind you before a scheduled transaction is due, uncheck the Remind box. The scheduled transaction will still be available for use with budgets, but iBank will not post the transaction to an account when its due date arrives. Each schedule has the following options that you can configure. Starts on. Enter the date on which the schedule should begin posting transactions to the account. It is limited by the effective date shown at the top of the inspector iBank can't start a schedule before that date. Every. Enter a number and choose a period of time to indicate how often the transaction will be posted. You can choose between weeks, months, quarters, and years. Multiple schedules come in handy when you want to post transactions at irregular intervals. For example, to post a transaction on a semi-monthly basis, you could configure one monthly schedule for the first of the month and a second monthly schedule for the 15th. Each schedule is represented by a set of options enclosed in a box with a schedule label. To delete a schedule, click the box surrounding one of its schedules so that it turns blue, then click the minus button to remove it. When you're done configuring schedules for the template, click Save to record your changes. Schedules are automatically included in budgets. When you view a budget report, the due dates for scheduled transactions appear as diamonds on the progress bars for the appropriate income and expense categories. An empty diamond indicates that the payment has not been made yet. Red means you paid more than you expected to, and green means the payment was on target or below what you expected. When you modify a scheduled transaction, either in the budget assistant or in the main scheduled transactions list, the budget will update automatically to reflect the change iBank tracks a history of changes made to each schedule behind the scenes, so past budgets aren't affected by changes you make in the present. Deleting a schedule will remove it from budgets from that point forward. If you need to exclude a scheduled transaction from a budget, configure the budget to exclude the account or category used by that schedule. To process upcoming scheduled transactions, click the Post button on the toolbar or choose Tools, confirm scheduled transactions. Or you can wait until the reminder date for when one or more of your transactions arrives. When you open your iBank document on that date, a window will appear with the transactions that are ready to post to your accounts. The Upcoming tab shows transactions that are due soon, based on the number of days you choose to be reminded within. These transactions show their dates with orange stripes as long as they remain in the future. Once the due date for a transaction has passed, it will show a late badge to highlight its urgent need for attention. The All tab shows the next due date for all scheduled transactions that are set to use reminders, regardless of when they're due. Select a transaction in the list and choose what action to take with it. 
click Skip to remove the transaction from the list without recording it in an account. Its schedule will advance and you won't see the transaction until the next time it comes due. Click Pay Online to send an electronic payment for the selected transaction. Feel free to edit the transaction before sending a payment if necessary. To use this feature, you must have at least one account configured to use Bill Pay. For more information on this topic, view the Bill Pay tutorial video at iggsoftware.com. Click Print Check to print the details of the selected transaction on CheckStock. Click Post to remove the transaction from the list and record it in the account shown in the account column. Any changes you make to the transaction in this window will only apply to this instance of the transaction and will not affect later transactions posted by the same schedule. To modify all upcoming instances of a transaction, you'll need to edit the template in the main scheduled transactions list. When you finish processing your scheduled transactions, click Done to return to the main window. There are various ways to remove scheduled transactions. Removing schedules from the Schedule Inspector will stop the transaction from posting, but will preserve the transaction template for use with import rules and to autofill transaction details when you record new transactions. Deleting the entire transaction template will also delete its associated schedules. For more information on this topic, search the iBank help documents for How Do I Schedule Recurring Transactions? <laughs>